I, I mean, if I'm writing a play, the main thing that's at the forefront of my mind is, is um, why is this a play? How am I making this? Th am I using all the tools of theatre that I need to, to make this? Th so I'm just trying to make every single beat and moment as theatrical as possible. So a big part of that is just um, if it's more theatrical to go a certain direction, I'll go that direction. Okay, so so if, uh, if I'm writing a play, it's this is kind of almost my, my stock kind of phrasing that I've used a couple of times, but it's probably the closest I've got to explaining it adequately, which is if I'm writing a play, I'm trying to get close to some kind of truth, it might be emotional, or, uh, if I'm being very politically social or whatever, mm. but, you know, but most of the time it's, it's emotional. Um, so, uh, for instance, um, I'll use an example from another one. So I'll go back to, 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 to the uh, so Brilliant Adventures, the earlier play, that's a play about two brothers who've got a lot of sadness in their past, a lot of bad things have happened to them, They've, some of them made bad decisions that have worsened those bad things, mm -hmm. um, and the play has uh, a time machine on the stage, there's a time machine in that yeah. play, and um, what that does is it just, it completely casts a different shadow on, on everything, and it, it kind of makes everything sort of more fluid, but also more clear and concrete at the same mm -hmm. time in that if that's a play about regret and the past and 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 and, and kind of dealing with the past and mm -hmm. not being able to change things you put a time machine on stage that makes all that extremely immediate in the sense that there's a time machine mm -hmm. and they're still completely fucked like they're still <laughs> you know what i mean like yeah. it's, it's still uh, a problem so what happens is i'm trying to get to the heart of something emotionally and I get to a point where it's like you know um, I'm not hitting at this with you know a sofa and two chairs or whatever and and really what I'm trying to do is get close to what it, what it feels like I'm not trying to be literal I'm trying I'm trying to tap into what it feels like and what it, and then and then I'll, I'll use any tool I can to do that so yeah. if that means a character has to become a seagull if that means right. Cthulhu's in there if that means uh, we end up with this organ harvesting thing, w whatever in that play maybe, um, then that's in there because I'm just trying to get to something probably quite um, simple and, and the, the core. I'm trying to find the core of what the thing is. Um, so for another example, from another play, one that's less kind of weird and wonderful, I guess. So I just played talk show, which is about family where all the women have sort of left or moved on, some right. have died, so it's a bunch of men left in this house and they, they're just, just terrible with each other, they can't talk to each mm. other, it's a play about talking, it's called Talk Show, it's a clever title, isn't it? <laughs> um, and um, so um, what I do in that play is that's a play about a family that need to but can't talk to each other, yeah. so the main character in that play is running like a chat show, like a David Letterman Jonathan Ross kind of style mm. chat show in his bedroom which he's putting out on the internet what that means is it just I'm just trying to get close to that oh it's they want to talk to each other but they can't so I put this talk show here that makes every metaphor every beat every moment every action in the play kind of sing with that moment yeah. as it were and makes it really clear and, and 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 it also functions and then what it doesn't just do that you can you know it should be as it's part of a plot it can't just be something that's put in there to kind of build an idea it should be it should be built into the core of, of the action as well so in that case the talk show is all those things but it is also the climax of a play because he gets his dad and his granddad on the talk show yeah. and that's that's the big climax. you know he gets to, to 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 talk to him on the talk show um and so with pomona all those with and and looking at x and if i've got a play with monster in, if I've got to play it on Pluto, if I've got to play um, with all these various, if I've got to play with kind of elements from genre, if I've got, I can, I can go through and, and probably quite clearly pinpoint, okay, that, what that does is it's taking us closer to that feeling or idea mm. or whatever, you know, I mean, I, 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 I thought, um, like when you describe a, an event that happened to you, you're quite obviously, oh, it felt like this, and you're, you have some other referral thing. Mm. Um, another example is that I remember hearing Edgar Wright talk about space and this this whole thing of saying 
that the pitch was sort of when you describe a night out, you'd be like, it was like the scene in this film or whatever. So it was spaces was it just literally did that? It just made right. the things of going on a night out with your friends or, or staying in or whatever mm-hmm. like for various movies or video games or what you know all the things that that show reference and that and that you know at that point it seemed like it was kind of a just a pop culture fan kind of thing mm. but but it's actually like it's a really smart mo- like I, that's just fresh because I heard that like the other day and mm. I was like oh shit that's like what I've been try- trying to do but yeah. it's less with kind of pop cultural things in my plays and it's more just I don't know there seems to be like ghosts and monsters and times like spe- there's all kinds of weird stuff in there and I'm not sitting there going oh this place is a bit boring how can I kind of jazz it up a bit oh, I'll put this idiosyncratic element in it it just becomes oh I'm trying to get to this I can't I'm not managing it right. but if this then some, and it just occurs like if I'm writing it feels good if it feels like a discovery it doesn't feel good if it feels like I'm making something okay. up so I try and let things happen naturally so I think the thing is is it's not a case of why do I put that stuff in the in the play. It's a case of I just don't stop anything being in a play if it needs.